All right, this is the first time we're letting the little chicks out, little chicas, the chiquitas. I've let out the uh, original ones over here. They're out foraging now. Um, so far, one has been brave enough to come out so far. Looks like the, let me see if I can, I'm trying to stay far enough away so that they don't get scared to come, they don't get scared and they stay in. Hear me, wanna get back, watch out, Chico. Back a little more. Here, I tell you what, I'll do this. Here, no, 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 don't go over there. You're gonna scare them back in. Hey, what's going on everybody? So yesterday I shot my garden update, but I decided what I was going to go ahead and do is explain a little bit of the uh, maintenance um, that I just finished um, and something new that I'm trying. So let me go ahead and widen out a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to focus on actually mostly, you know, what I what I don't like about my design. Um, and uh, real quick, let's talk about what I do like from design, about the design. So as you can see, I have just recently taken out all the old stuff um, and put in some new wood shavings. So when when I took when I know it's time to basically empty is two things. Number one, when it gets up to it's a two by four I created for the base. Um, when it gets to the almost that height, as you can see the seeds kind of going along the top there, then I know it's time to go ahead and pull them out. So um, and, and and in doing so, so basically what happens is they they are they basically the, the chickens basically you know they'll poop and then you know, a lot of people will probably empty it out though i just go ahead and i put down more sh wood shavings and more wood shavings and then by the time i get to this part where i'm emptying out that bottom layer is some really nice dark uh really nice and dark um there's some nice not completely but there are some nice dark spots of good soil um and then also it has given me quite a bit of soil to go ahead and put into the garden now i am going to go to full wide real fast uh, this is probably a good six to maybe seven feet long um, and in its highest peak It's probably about two feet tapering down to maybe about one foot and uh, what I was doing this time and uh, It was basically watering it down every wheelbarrow load. So this is this is what I don't like about it So let's go to stay here for a second first thing is um, the seeds get into there and when I, if, in the past when I would just go ahead and take it out and put it right into the garden then I, I, I just get random corn or whatever just sprouting around and I'm not too much of a fan of it um, plus I think by doing that you know it's, it was still a little too hot and I lost my first avocado tree doing that um, and, and so that's why this time I'm trying to basically put it over here out of the way of my feeding bins I got one out because I got wet inside I'm letting it dry out um, and, um, basically the, uh, um, so, so that way I can, you know, basically feed these over here while this is kind of, let's just say simmering down and hopefully all the seeds are sprouting. Now, the other thing that I don't like is, although I'm, I'm happy with, you know, it's, it's basically a nine by five. Uh, the, the part that I don't like about it is I made it only five feet tall. And uh, I should have, and I'm 5'8", I'm not that tall of a person, but still, that's a little too short. So in order for me to get in there and kind of dish everything out, I have to, you know, it's no problem just here at the beginning, but when I get towards the back part, then I just, you know, it starts becoming a pain because I got to kind of get in there, shovel, you know, turn around, put it in the wheelbarrow and just rinse, repeat. And in that back area, you know, it may not look like a big space, but I'll probably get three to four uh wheelbarrow loads out of that and and so it, it's pretty significant as you saw by the pile the other thing that i don't like is in order for me to kind of uh clear everything out from what's usually the most concentrated poop area because it tends to stay the driest so it's like the wood chips do a good job on dehydrating this but still that's a large poop area i have to then take out that crate that's in there and i'll go and, and i'll insert a picture of what the crate looks like um, and then after I pull that crate out and sort of wash it down, I then have to pull everything, um, all the wood shavings and all the manure towards me. And then it's pretty easy to go ahead then from that point and, you know, basically sweep it on out. And then from that point, although it does get a little messy, it's not perfect, but I get the wheelbarrow over there and it catches quite a bit. Um, 
so yeah that you know that but uh um so we'll see come springtime how good you know basically creating this pile worked and uh you know how much uh, soil i get and we'll see if it does actually help number one not kill any of my trees that I'm, i really don't want to kill um, but also go ahead and see if it reduces the uh seed sprouting all throughout the garden but anyways back to your regularly scheduled program what is going on everybody so uh, looks like the, you saw me letting the chickens out and this is one of the casualties right here of letting the chickens out. Let me go ahead and see if I can. Yeah, whatever. Um, I'll, I'll show you why I'm not too upset because the more nutritious they are, this is the chicken harvester. So, you know, the, it will eventually make it into my family too. All right, but this video is going to be about um, what do I want to plant, plant during the winter? Uh, it's uh, almost Christmas time, so I want to get some plants in the garden, um, in the ground, I should say, before I leave from my work trip um, so that they're in by the January, February period uh, that uh, go to wide um, for San Diego. And uh, yeah, so I think what I mean, you saw I got some kale going on and maybe I'll have some, but hopefully by the time that the chickens are done with it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and probably get some arugula and some other things. To be honest, I'm going to kind of just go to the nursery and see what they got going on because I always forget what is winter and summer here because they all kind of blend in pretty well here in San Diego. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, let me let me show you some of the maintenance that I've kind of done um, since the last video. This looks like a mess. I'm actually doing a little... Uh, doing a little experiment here and to be honest I'm not sure if the family is going to allow me to see it all the way through fruition but um, I started doing the chipper shredder and I started having issues with the chipper shredder it's not working right now I'm doing a video on that um, or it's good it'll be a, it'll probably take a while for me to finish that video because since I am leaving um, but I am working on that and hopefully I can get that fixed um, if not maybe I'm just gonna have to invest and get a better one but anyways started chipper shredder and it failed so now I'm just trying to heavy mulch around here and basically do more of a chop and drop um, but obviously and since I don't got much of a yard here um, as you have seen if, you, if you've been watching with me that uh, I don't really I can't necessarily just chop and drop I got to strategically chop and then place um, but uh, everything is now uh, all the deciduous trees are now um, doing their thing and in hibernation and a little concerned at this point haven't got much um, haven't got much of a whatchamacallit uh it hasn't been that cool yet so i'm I'm really hoping we get our chill hours for my plants to for my plants to get the necessary chill hours for those who live in really cold areas you don't really got to worry about it but i need to get about two 200 chill hours to where it gets into 47 degrees or lower um and so yeah that's that, that's that's a requirement to get a good harvest come the springtime um let's see here uh, the but what you do notice is in the winter time since the seems like the water stays on the ground a little bit better I get the natural grass that comes up um it will all die eventually because it seems like I can't ever water it enough and since San Diego is so crazy expensive for water um I just tend not to um it just uh, you know I do what I can um and then we'll, we'll we'll see if we can improve it as the time goes on but let's see how the avocado trees is going because it has been a while um actually it looks like it's getting ready to come into some growth spurts potentially i'm a little surprised since we are um, approaching january um, but it yeah it's doing pretty good big bertha here is still going you can see some of the birds are still getting up in there and just you can see all the debris all over everything they're just really getting in and on them um, other ones are making it to the ground the ripened ones um, the, when we got guava season going on you've seen various a couple of videos as a matter of fact the video that just came out before this I had some guava in my cup there and I, I mean guava kombucha and guava kombucha is definitely my favorite kombucha to make um, the pomegranate tree will be do we'll be doing a video on some of the pruning or at least how I'm going to prune it not an expert uh, it's more like uh, cut and pray that was the right one um, but uh, um, I'll be going ahead and going and doing uh, refreshing on some of the videos on pruning and then going ahead and doing uh, the pruning on uh, the pomegranates also the peaches and my multi graph tree over there that actually looks like it kind of ended up in a pretty good situation by the end of the year Still got the uh, pepper tree that hasn't quite uh, finished growing yet. Um, looks like this avocado tree is still doing pretty good. I'm going to probably try to maybe heavy mulch um, come real soon. And you can see this one's 
still dying off. Nothing really. I, I, I think since it doesn't have any leaves making it doing photosynthesis and giving it the sugar that it needs, it's just not surviving. Um, but this one seems to be pulling through somewhat. It's just, it's fighting though. Um, it might be because I need to put mulch down. Let's see here. The ashwagandha tree has come back. You've seen the couple of uh, updates ago. I basically pruned it down pretty good, but it has come back and it is full. I mean, these are nice, fresh uh, green um, branches here, and uh, they're even producing. I can't. Well, they're kind of hard to see down there, but let me go ahead and zoom in. But the berries are coming in on some of the older branches. Come back out to wide, uh, and the elderberry tree. I'm still not seeing. Uh, well, maybe, maybe uh, this might be some berries starting to come through. I'm unsure. I haven't ever seen the. This is the first year I had the elderberry uh goat that i've had the elderberry so i don't know when it goes to i think it's a, like a january february maybe march time it actually goes to berries i don't know though i forgot what it says um but it appears that uh you know, hopefully it starts coming through soon let's go ahead and uh say hi to the chickens here it's the first time i had them out and they're kind of exploring they're actually we're out flapping their wings a little bit i'm gonna kind of go around them so that they see that i'm not going to harm them at least until they stop producing eggs the papaya tree is really doing great though i mean it just it, it it's unstoppable at this point i think i hope so at least um, and you can see where i basically put the the red um cedar bark back there is I me mean, cutting up some um cutting up some uh, basically planks and I just finally decided I wanted it. It was kind of just sitting around and I decided just to put it here um, to hopefully keep in the moisture really good for the uh, uh, orange tree that I have here. Oh, and this, uh, I forget the name of it. It starts with the SP. Um, but I need to really cut this down because this is, this is about, this is definitely done. And the mango tree, haven't seen too many uh, recent growths from it. You can see they're all kind of, you know, the winter it's kind of this, this spread right here is a lot closer tight than you kind of see these spread it about. Um, and so uh, it looks like another growth might be coming, but not quite yet. I'm just going to kind of finish up. Uh, the roses uh, are uh, should be probably coming out. It's probably about time that well, I'll definitely be addressing them, when, uh, approaching them when it comes time for pruning. Um, but let me just walk you past my son's little play area and show you our California firewood. Um, so don't have many trees out here, but we sure do got palm trees. So here's my kindling and uh, here's my firewood. And so the, the, these palm fronds definitely make great firewood. Um, they light fast and uh, they burn pretty good. Um, but let's go ahead and walk on around to the Peruvian Aji Amarillo peppers. And it's pretty much done. So I'm just waiting for these last ones to just kind of finish. I, I mean, they're not getting any more nutrition. We're just basically waiting for them to dry out on the branch so that we have more seeds because we de we're we looking to expand and get at one, maybe two more trees, uh, bush bushes, I should say. Um, I, I feel like uh, they might not be necessary once we get this one fully going, um, but uh, we, we definitely use these peppers quite a bit in my household. So um, we want to get it going. And last, uh, we'll just go ahead and finish up with uh, the two things right here. Got the strawberries. It looks like uh, they're kind of coming through with some new growth. Looks like I need to water them. Um, and up here, uh, they got a mixture of, uh, you know, some coming and going. Um, looks like some papaya seeds sprouted in some of our compost, so I need to go ahead and pull those. Um, but uh, the worm castings, um, it looks like, as you can kind of start seeing here at the bottom, we're, 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 the worms are doing pretty good in there, so they have taken to their new homes and uh, are, are definitely starting to um, produce some product for my garden. All right, well, that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video. hope you liked this just very quick, short uh, garden update to let you know what's on the horizon for me. Um, definitely will bring you along when I go ahead and uh, plant the uh, plant which plants and uh, which ones I choose to pick up from the nursery. And then also when we go ahead and put those in, I'll make that just one video. And I think when I get back from my uh, work trip, I'm going to go ahead and do the pruning. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I'll be able to get both in, in, in one sort of a, a trip. And it probably is about time. Oh, and I did forget to mention, I got to get the uh, grapevine uh, behind me too. I'll be pruning that back and showing you how to do that. That one's super easy. But anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.